so for the past three weeks I have not done a YouTube video at all um, one of those reasons is that I ended up getting LASIK um, and it was advised by my doctor not to be staring at the monitor for a long time so I decided not to do a YouTube video during that week I'm so happy to say that I see way better now and I no longer I hope that I will never ever ever have to see this chart ever again in my life. The second week I didn't do a YouTube video because I ended up going to Las Vegas with my brother. We had a ton of fun and when I came back I decided you know what I need to work on my game engine. I need to uh, implement new features and I was looking for ideas and I ended up playing this game that I found on itch.io. Uh, it's an uh, FPS game. It's very fast paced, super fun to play and it prompted me to uh, come up with ideas to implement in my game engine. Basically I decided to you know make an FPS game simil similar to the game that I found and I decided to do that. However I realized that I needed to implement some features such as uh, mouse and keyboard support because as of last week my game engine could only support a controller such as this one right here so for the past week this is what I worked on and this is what this video is going to be all about I'm going to share with you how I added uh, mouse and keyboard support to my engine so stick around because we are going to begin right now if we have never met I'm Hero Serrano and I developed a 3D game engine and I'm here with you to share everything that I know about game engine development so let me share with you what I did uh, one of the first things that I had to do was to uh, translate that 2D movement of my mouse into a 3D rotation that my game engine could use to orient a character and it so happens that all you need to do is project the previous and the current position of the mouse onto an imaginary sphere of radius 1. Using the sphere equation, you compute the z-coordinates for both previous and current position of the mouse. With this information, you can compute the angle between these two vectors and also the axis of rotation. And once you have that, you can literally map the xy uh, position uh, of your mouse to a 3D coordinate space. Alright, so at this point I was able to control the orientation of the character using my mouse and I was able to uh, travel uh, through a uh, um, game map uh, using the WASD keys in my keyboard. That all looked good. However, there was a second problem. Um, for some reason, as I would go from one monitor to another monitor, the whole uh, screen, the whole rendering would be affected. And it turns out that my Mac has a retina display, whereas my second monitor doesn't have, doesn't have a retina display. So I needed to take into account the whole um, scale factor. Uh, so I needed to uh, add that to the game engine. Basically, uh, what you do is you detect when you change monitors as you are playing the game. You simply need to set the back scale factor uh, and that will eventually uh, uh, render your whole game properly depending on the monitor that you are currently using. So my third uh, item in my to-do list was to um, prevent the mouse cursor from uh, going uh, outside the, the, uh, the game window as you can see here. So what I wanted to do was exactly how it is done in any other FPS game which is to lock the cursor at the center of the game window and simply detect the delta changes in the motion of the mouse. That's all what I wanted to do and the idea is quite simple. So basically how it works is that as you move the mouse, the computer will detect the change uh, in the delta locations and the cursor should move back to the center. However, as it is moving back to the center position, uh, no mouse events should be generated. That's the whole idea, right? However, no matter what I did, no matter how I implemented the whole 
uh, logic, I, I will still get the same problem, which is that uh, the orientation of my character will start shaking, uh, which meant that uh, it is receiving events. Well, if you look at the documentation from Apple, it, it states that when you call this particular function to move the cursor back to the center, no mouse events should be generated. I think there is a bug with that function because it is generating events. It says that it shouldn't, but it is generating events. Um, and the way how I came, um, uh, how I found a workaround was basically to ignore every second event um, from the mouse whenever I center the cursor back to the origin position. That's the only way I got it to work. Well, uh, this is all what I did this week. Um, I added a uh, keyboard and mouse support to my game engine. I also uh, added um, support uh, for the engine to detect different displays and do the proper scaling. And I hope you learned something uh, from this video. I hope you can apply whatever I taught you today to your game engine. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I talk only about game engine development here. So please subscribe um, and click on the notification button. And I'm going to add more videos here so you can watch more uh, videos about game engine development. Uh, thank you guys and I'll see you next time.